41 Otter Hound Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. The Otter Hound, originating in England, is a unique and sizable scent hound renowned for its distinctive appearance and exceptional hunting and tracking skills. Number 2. Male Otter Hounds stand approximately 27 inches tall and weigh about 115 pounds, while females are roughly 24 inches tall and weigh around 80 pounds. Number 3. The Otter Hound boasts a rugged, shaggy coat that's more than just messy. Well, it's actually a marvel of functionality. Yep, the breed has a double coat. The outer coat is 2 to 6 inches long long, rough, and very thick, while the undercoat is woolly and slightly oily. With this combination, the Otter Hound is relatively resistant to weather conditions and they can bind in and out of streams and lakes without the undercoat absorbing a great deal of water. Number 4. Characterized by large droopy ears and expressive eyes, Otter Hounds have a charming and loving presence. Even though they're gentle, their sturdy build and muscular frame reflect their capabilities as working dogs. Number 5. The Otter Hound's name reflects their historical purpose of aiding hunters in pursuing and capturing otters. Through generations of refining their tracking skills, Otter Hounds have become highly known for their skill in assisting hunters with this task. Number 6. Otter Hounds are a breed of dogs that were first seen in the northwest of England in the early 1800s. Back then, there were specific groups like the Hawkstone Otter Hounds and Squire Lomax's Otter Hounds that had dogs resembling today's Otter Hounds. Number 7. As time went on, in the late 1800s, breeders decided to mix in some French Griffon dogs, including one that had a bit of wolf in their ancestry. Then, in the early 1900s, they added another type of French dog called the Griffon Nivernais into the mix. Number 8. One particular dog named Boatman, who was a mix of Grand Griffon Vendéon and Bloodhound, became a key ancestor for many Otter Hound kennels. So basically, Otter Hounds have a mix of English and French ancestry, with some interesting breeds thrown into the mix along the way. Number 9. Otter hunting dates back to the early medieval period, with references to it found as early as 1360. The Otter Hound, however, can only be traced back as a distinct breed as far as the early 1800s. Number 10. King John of Magna Carta hunted otters with large shaggy dogs which were described at the time as a rough sort of a dog between a hound and a terrier. Number 11. The hunting of otters was practiced because they were preying on the fish in the rivers and streams. Otter hounds were used in packs to protect fish ponds and control the otter population. Number 12. The otter is one of the largest and most intelligent carnivorous mammals in Europe. To be equal to the otter, an otter hound was said to need a bulldog's courage, a Newfoundland's strength in water, a pointer's nose, a retriever's sagacity, the stamina of a foxhound, the patience of a beagle, and the intelligence of a collie. Number 13. The Otter Hound was used, along with small terriers, to hunt otters along the banks of ponds and rivers. The terriers would flush out the otter from its den, and once the otter took to the water, the Otter Hound took over. Number 14. During the peak of otter hunting in the late 1800s, about 18 to 20 packs of hounds were used across England each season. One notable pack, the Hawkstone Pack, led by Geoffrey Hill, hunted and killed over 700 otters in a span of 20 years. Number 15. Squire Lomax of Clitheroe also had a pack of otter hounds. By the late 1860s, his renowned pack was exceptionally well trained. It's even said that the entire pack would obediently respond to its slightest hand gesture. Number 16. Several British monarchs, including John, Richard III, Charles II, Edward II and IV, Henry II, VI, VII and VIII, and even Elizabeth I held the title of Master of Otter Hounds. These rulers had a fondness for the Otter Hound breed and actively participated in otter hunting activities for recreation. Number 17. In 1978, due to the dramatic decline in otter numbers, they were placed on the list of protected species in Britain, and otter hunting therefore ceased. And with the decline in the number of otters, the number of active otter hound packs also decreased. Number 18. By 1978, only nine registered packs of otter hounds remained. Some hunters started hunting mink or koipu instead, leading many original otter hound packs to disappear entirely. Often, hounds from these packs were given to newly established mink hound packs. Since otter hounds were bred specifically for hunting, only a few bloodlines were suitable for breeding as pets. Number 19. In 2012, it was estimated that there were only around 600 otter hounds in the world, which is why it's also considered to be the most endangered native breed in Britain. Number 20. Pam Marston Pollock, chairman of the UK Otter Hound Club, said that there are now just three breeders of Otter Hound in the UK. Number 21. The Otter Hound is seen as the rarest native breed in Britain, with only 41 new registrations in 2016. This is because there have never been many Otter Hounds. Even when Otter hunting was very popular in the early 20th century, there are still only a few of these dogs around. 
Number 22, Otter Hounds are on the list of vulnerable native breeds as identified by the UK Kennel Club and great efforts are being made to save the breed. Number 23, according to the Otter Hound Club of America, today there are only 800 Otter Hounds worldwide, and you can find most of them in the UK and the US. Number 24, the Otter Hound is susceptible to gastric dilatation valvulus, also known as bloating. This condition is life-threatening and happens when the dog's stomach fills up with too much air. This can lead to the stomach twisting, causing various complications. Number 25, another medical condition to watch out for is the fatal bleeding disorder known as Glansman thrombasthenia. Fortunately, thanks to advanced genetic testing and responsible breeding practices, the occurrence of this disorder in the breed has decreased. Number 26, the breed has a broad chest and shoulders, and this enables them to swim for long periods without getting tired. This ability is complemented by the rough, waterproof double coat that covers their entire bodies, including their webbed feet. This unique feature not only protects them from water, but also enables enables them to swim effortlessly for long periods. Number 27, Otter Hounds can wade for up to 20 miles in a day, proving how tough and adaptable they are in aquatic environments. Number 28, Otter Hounds can be smelly. Some Otter Hounds have more oil than others, so how often they need to be bathed depends on how the coat looks, feels, and smells. The shaggy beard collects water and food, and it can also develop an odor if not kept clean. Number 29, Otter Hounds possess large black noses capable of detecting scents even underwater. Their noses are so sensitive that they can track both the wash, the scent of otters in the water, and the drag, the trail of otters, on land. These dogs are renowned for their ability to persistently follow trails, often trailing other scents that are up to 12 hours old. Number 30, Otter Hounds are famous for their unique vocalizations and almost musical bark. It's described as a deep, loud, and extended bay, which is a special trait of the breed. This bark reflects their hound ancestry and their past as hunting dogs. Number 31, because Otter Hounds are so rare, they could be mistaken for a Labradoodle or another Poodle mix, but you can spot an Otter Hound by their distinguishing long ears. Number 32, the modern Otter Hound is documented to have Bloodhound and several rough-coated French Hound breeds in their background, as well as the now extinct Southern Hound. Number 33, one more interesting fact is that Terriers and Otter Hounds were actually bred together to create the Airedale Terrier. Number 34, Otter Hounds were usually owned by those who could afford to hunt with a pack. There exist many documents and books about game laws, the buying and selling of Otter Hound packs, and the maintenance and care of the dogs. Number 35, almost every famous British dog painter depicted the Otter Hunt. John Ems, Sir Edwin Landseer, Philip Reynagle, John Sargent Noble, Colin Graham, Edwin Armfield, Joseph Appleyard, George Wright, Walter Hunt, and Alfred Duke are some examples. Number 36, the manuscript Livre de Chasse from 1387 to 89 by French nobleman Gaston de Foix contains a depiction of the otter hunt. Two hunters along a stream in which an otter swims, the dogs on the bank, and the spears at the ready. Number 37, otter hunting is no longer permitted, so otter hounds need to find other activities to keep themselves busy. One option is drag hunting, where a pack of hounds follows a scent trail laid out by humans or artificial scents over a set course. This sport originated in the UK in the the early 1800s to test the speed and agility of hounds by tracking scent trails over a specific distance. Number 38, the first otter hounds in the United States arrived in the early 20th century. Six otter hounds were exhibited at an AKC show in 1907. The first AKC registered otter hound was Heartland Statesman from England in 1910. Number 39, Dr. Hugh Mote, who was a notable figure in the Otterhound community, bred the first litter of Otterhounds in the States with Bessie's Courageous and Bessie's Countess. From this litter came the first AKC champions in 1941. Number 40, only four to seven litters a year are born in the United States and Canada. Apart from these countries, there are breeders in New Zealand, Switzerland, and the Netherlands. There's usually a waiting list of people wanting to purchase an Otterhound. Number 41, if you're looking to get an English Otter Hound, you'll need to wait for a while since the breed is rare, and it's gonna cost you a lot. The average cost for the breed is between $1,500 and $2,500. Alright guys, now which of these Otter Hound facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.